Hey everybody, this is Intro, and in this video we're going to be going over ARP, which is Address Resolution Protocol. Now what Address Resolution Protocol does is it stores all of your MAC addresses and IP addresses of all of the nodes or PCs on, connected to your network. So anything on your network, you'll be able to see it and identify it by the MAC address or the IP address. To do this, you're just going to type in ARP minus sign A. And what you're going to see is the internet address or the IP address and the physical address or the MAC address. Now, what this is important for is that now what this is important for is finding people and identifying people on your network. Rather, you have people you want to add to your network or people that you don't want on your network at all and you want to blacklist them, which I actually have a video on how to do that. Um, you can get them off your network. So, I mean, you can, you can see their MAC address or their IP address. That's basically how you can identify any system going into the about settings of it or going into your router login of your router. So, ARP is um, very useful for that reason, especially on large networks. You always want to know who's connected and just to keep the top security. Um, but a way that you can add addresses, say you wanted to add an address that was a static address. And the type has to be static because it means that it's on your network and it's not, you know, moving around anywhere. Um, we're going to be able to do that by adding the ARP dash s and then entering the IP address in the MAC address of that device so say I had a device on my network that was a 198.162.1.14 and then its MAC address was something random like 555555 let's put that all the way down And this is going to be the new IP address and MAC address. So the new device that is going to be running at type static on our system. Click enter. Make sure you're an administrator when you run these. And we're going to do that same command again, ARP-A. Now what we're going to be able to see is that address. As you can see, it's right here. Static, MAC address 555, all the way through and the IP address that I set up here which is 198.162.1.14 so that's basically all you need to know about the ARP command um, it's very important for networking large networks and again we will be going over how to manage these in another video and actually I'll put the link of that video because I've already did a sort of minor briefing on it on how to get into your router and how to blacklist people so that they can never connect to your network again after you do have somebody that is not supposed to be on your network on you. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day.